You guys, what do these three Pokemon all have in common? They're cute. You're right. I bought them for way too much money. You're also right. No, they are all Pokemon that you can choose at the start of your adventure in Minecraft Cobblemon. Now, I'm going to teach you everything you guys need to know about starter Pokemon in Minecraft Cobblemon, how to choose a starter, and how to find starters in the wild. That's right, you can find every starter, and at the time of the video, excluding Johto and Paldea, but Gens 1 and 3 through 8, you can find all of these uh, starters in the wild. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find them. Let's do it. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is this document right here. Now, what this is, is this is the Cobblemon spawn data sheet. Uh, this shows you exactly the conditions that need to be met for all Cobblemon to spawn in your game. Um, it'll show you guys uh, the name, the biome they need to be in, what time, the weather, they need to be on the ground or underwater or something, uh, anything preset. So, uh, you know, if they need to be on a tree, just natural spawn. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Underground, stuff like that. Uh, and then requirements, so <clears throat> some things might be like, you gotta be at a specific Y level, or something like that. And then how rare they are, what their spawn weight is, so how frequently they'll spawn, uh, their level minimum, their level max, and if you can see from the sky. So that's how you read this document, and the link will be down in the description below if you guys wanna see it. And <clears throat> if you wanna just stop the video here and uh, go look at it yourself, um, I'll look the other way. But you should you should hang out with me and leave a like and, and a comment and a subscription. I would like that. Remember, bigger number, better person. Regardless, this is the document that shows you everything you need to know. And I'm going to show you exactly how to find every single starter on Cobblemon. Okay, we're just going to go in order uh, of all the Pokemon. The first one we're going to be looking for is Bulbasaur. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe I'll just get, like, extremely lucky. It, oh. Dude, there's no way that happened. No, I'm just joking, you guys. Of course, I spawn in all the Pokemon so you guys can see them in their natural habitats. Uh, it would be crazy to, to try and find every single one of these Pokemon. But, yeah, for example, here's a Bulbasaur, level 9, in the jungle. Um, and I do, 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 do recommend using uh, Zerus' minimap. If you guys want to know how to download that, just click right there and uh, follow my guide on how to do it. It also helps you find shiny Pokemon. But, yeah, this is where you would go to catch yourself a Bulbasaur. Where do you even go? Get over here, little guy. What a cute little model. All right, I'll see you guys in the uh, the next area. All right, and I know I'm doing this out of order, but I actually, I mean, you can see the spawn log. You can see I teleported to a jungle, and uh, yeah, uh, I, sp I spawned, uh, I sp here, look, I spawned a Bulbasaur level 9. I did not spawn the Squirtle that's right here. I see the Squirtle on the map as I'm about to teleport to where I can find a, a Charmander. But look, there's just a Squirtle chilling right here. He's level 24. I'm going to throw a Pokeball at him because I would like him. I would just like to have one. If it doesn't catch, that's okay, because, you know, I can just get one later, but... Alright, well, regardless, uh, the way you're gonna find Squirtle is in the river. Just in a river, um, or, uh, yeah, it's gotta be in a river. He's gotta be either grounded on a river, so if there's blocks around, or submerged underwater like he is right now. Uh, so I think it's actually crazy. I know I'm going out of order, but this, this Squirtle did genuinely spawn. And I, I, I think that's uh, ultra rare spawn, you know, live on camera. Uh, so I'll throw one more ball at it, why not? All right, uh, now I'll actually meet you guys where we'll find the Char Charmander. All right, you guys, if we want to find our next starter, uh, we are going to want to take an adventure into the nether. That's right, we need to find a basalt delta biome and anywhere on the ground at any time of day, uh, you can find a little, cute little Charmander. And I just love the way his fire animation looks, the way that it, it doesn't look like just the Minecraft fire particles. It is actually, you know, hand animated. And that just goes to show the amount of love that, oh, there he just jumped in the lava. Look at the little guy, he jumped in the lava, he's so cute. Uh, it just goes to show the love that the animators and, and modelers really put into into this mod. Uh, and if you're not playing it, you're you're absolutely crazy. You guys gotta start playing this mod. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I'll have more videos on why you need to. But let, let's get to the next starter. The next starter that you guys are gonna be able to find is Trico. Now, Trico only spawns in the jungles, uh, on natural or on treetops. So that's why I spawn him here on this treetop, so you guys can see that Trico does spawn on the treetops, and just, I love the animation, he's just bobbing his head up and down, look at his tail, moves so fluidly, alright, yeah, but if you guys want to get a Trico, because Sceptile is definitely one of the coolest starters in the whole game, prove me wrong, uh, you'll definitely want to go start hunting in the jungle, alright, I'll meet you the next one, <clears throat> alright, and to find our next Pokemon, we're going to want to adventure into any plains biome, now, keep in mind, you guys, that this plains biome, it could be any time of the day, any weather, nothing, nothing needs to be different, other than, you just got to come out here and find yourself, a cute little tour chicken. Look at the way he like pops his head up and down. 
so beautifully animated and modeled. Just look at him. Look at him like that. And, uh, you know, uh, something about, I, I mean, I'm a Gen 3 boy myself. I grew up with, with uh, Sapphire and Ruby. I just got to say, you, you got to catch yourself one of these because Blaziken. And I'm, you know what? I, I'll show you. Look at this absolute beast of a Pokemon. You want one of these on your team. Look at him. You want one. I know you want one. I know you probably already have one, but because he's so sought after. But yeah, you should definitely get yourself a Blaziken and a Torchic in a Plains biome. All right, the next Pokemon has two different spawn conditions. Both of them are going to be in a swamp. One of them will be submerged in any weather, and the other will be on land in the rain. So you guys see I got it raining right now so that we had the opportunity for this little guy to spawn. Yep, that's right. You can find Mudkip in a swamp biome. It makes sense. It's an axolotl. You'll find him in a swamp biome. Uh, the ground typing absolutely just goes to make it make sense. And it is absolutely such a cute model. And again, I just want to reiterate how awesome it is that these Pokemon feel like they belong in Minecraft. I mean, that's one of the most perfect things about this mod. It's not one of the most perfect things. It is the most perfect thing about this mod is how great all these models look. So, hey, if you're a Cobblemon model uh, maker watching this video, sound off in the comments so I can personally thank you. Uh, yeah, but there's, there's Mudkip. Absolutely can't wait to get one on my team. But, of course, I'll find one legit. I'm not going to catch this one. Yeah, well, see you in the next one. The next destination we have is any forest biome, and I just lied to you. It's not any forest biome. It excludes spooky forests, uh, which is classified uh, as dark forests. Uh, to find the next Pokemon, of course, it is everybody's favorite grass starter from Gen 4. That's right. We're going to find Turtwig. Now, I know there's... Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's one right there. Uh, Turtwig's so cute. Just a little turtle with a little leaf on his head. Oh, I love him so much. But yeah, you're going to want to find him in any conditions, in any forest, ultra rare spawn. And you get yourself a Torterra, a very strong, powerful, uh, grass ground type. A uh, very, very, very cool thing to add to your team. The next Pokemon is going to take us back to the Nether. Uh, and we're going to be finding one of these Crimson Forests. That's right, we're going to be finding ourselves a Chimchar. Now, Chimchar spawns on the ground or in a treetop uh, anywhere in the Crimson Forest. He also spawns in mountains, but only in clear day, so you're probably more consistent to find it here. Spawns are a little less diluted. You only find some like this ghastly that just decided to photobomb us uh yeah but if you definitely want to add a powerful firefighting type and you didn't go with blaziken and you don't going to go with emboy later on uh yeah this is your guy to choose you definitely want to get yourself a chimchar all right you guys i hope you wore a jacket for this next one because we're going to be taking ourselves to a frozen biome now that would be the deep frozen ocean and the frozen ocean on the land or underwater you can find this little guy piplup who was one of my favorite pokemon growing up i loved dawn's piplup it was so sassy in the anime, and it was always so good at supporting its friends. Let me know what you guys think about this one, because a lot of people find Piplup annoying. Uh, I don't know. That's just like a, a thing around the community I've heard. But if you guys think Piplup's cool, let me know in the comments. And also, I just love the way it's looking around. Like, it's just trying to find a little igloo. Can you a little igloo, Piplup? Yeah. Hide yourself from the snow. So cute. Our next Pokemon is once again going to take us to the jungle. I know. Seems like there's a lot of jungle Pokemon. Uh, but this one is a very special one. We're going to be able to find ourselves a Snivy hiding in these trees. That's right. Snivy can spawn in the jungle on the treetops or on the ground. Uh, looks like this one wanted to hide in the treetops, and now he's just kind of surfing on the ground. Maybe trying to get some cocoa beans. Um, I do really like Superior. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. Especially if you get, like, its hidden ability and you use some, you know, cool moves with that. Um, you're really good. I didn't mean to hit you, Snivy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Snivy. I didn't mean to hit you. Come back. No, I didn't mean to place Cobblestone next to you. I'm so sorry. Wait. Cobble Mon. That's how they came up with the name for the mod. I get it now. Next Pokemon we're hunting is going to take us right back to the nether in the Crimson Forest. And just like uh, Chimchar, its uh, other firefighting friend, we got Tepig, who will uh, evolve into a firefighting type. And I just love the way this thing is animated. I love the way it bounces, its tail swings. It is so, so, so cute. Now, this Pokemon can also be found in the plains biome during clear weather. But you'd probably be having a more consistent uh, time finding it in the nether. Prove me wrong, though. You know, go find one in the uh, in the overworld. See what happens. All right, the next Pokemon we're going to find was my personal starter when I played through Gen 5 for the first time. That's right, we're finding Oshawott. Oshawott can be found on any coast, which is a Minecraft beach or a Minecraft stony shore. I've got this one on a stony shore, and I just think his head is so big. <laughs> He's just got such a big head for his little body. I think it's so cute. Uh, but if you want to add a Samurott to your team, this is the place to come. This place to come, a stony beach or a Minecraft beach, either one. The next Pokemon we're going to find is going to take us back to the forest. It has the exact same spawn conditions as Turtwig. Uh, no spooky, so don't go to a dark oak forest. We're going to find ourselves Chespin, which, you know, 
people don't like the Gen 6 starters, except for Greninja, because Greninja's sweet. But what do you guys think about Chessman? Do you guys think it really gets all the hate it deserves? Let me know in the comments. Okay, and for the first time this video, we're going to be taking a trip to the desert. Now, I found this nice little desert town, and you know who loves to hang out in towns? Foxes. <laughs> Which is why the next Pokemon we're looking for is one of actually my favorite Gen 6 Pokemon. Alright, here's, here's the little guy hanging out around the hay bales. Fennekin, so cute. I love Delphox. A lot of people, again, sleep on Delphox, but I think it's got such a good design. Just the mage in the dress with the, the wand. You know, fire psychic type. Really cool stuff. So yeah, uh, Fennekin can spawn uh, in the desert in any conditions. And it's just an ultra rare spawn, just like all the other starters. And he'll be fine when add one to your team. Alright, and we don't have to go too far to find our next Pokemon. This is probably one of the ones that a lot of people have skipped in the video to, uh, to see. So, hi, I'm Eerie. You should watch more of my videos. And here's how you find Froakie. Froakie can spawn in freshwater. So that means in the swamp or in rivers. Now, in rivers or in the swamp, they're going to spawn... Uh, in rivers, they're going to spawn submerged in water. And in swamps, they can spawn submerged or they can spawn uh, on the land. Now, I love its little swimming animation. It makes it look just like a frog. But when you get it on land, it just sits there, and oh, it's just so cute. And Greninja is one of the coolest starters in the whole game. I mean, just take a look at this absolute beast. Why wouldn't you want one of these on your team? Shiny Greninja, if you have one, let me know in the comments. I found a Shiny Greninja without cheating it in. Uh, and if you want to find some Shiny Pokemon, make sure you guys uh, take a look at my Shiny hunting video. Uh, I'll teach you guys how to Shiny hunt in Pokemon Cobblemon. Yep, it's a great video. Go watch it. Alright, this next one's a special one to me because this was the Pokemon that I chose on my very first Cobblemon adventure. That's right. Take yourself over to a Taiga to find yourselves a Rowlet. Rowlet can spawn on the ground or on treetops. And, oh my gosh, he's just so cute. He's just a little block. He's just a little block with a bow tie. How could you not love him? How could you not love him as much as I do? He's so cute. Anyways, um, the only thing that happens with this spawn that you need to pay attention to is that he cannot spawn in snowy Taigas. So, uh, a cold taiga or a uh, snowy grove, he cannot spawn in. So, just try to find yourself a basic Minecraft taiga biome if you're looking for Rowlet. Did you guys think we were done in the jungle? Because we're not. We got one more Pokemon at least to find here. That is going to be Litten, the Lucha Cat Pokemon. I love Incineroar, you know? Uh, except when I'm playing Super Smash Bros. I hate fighting against Incineroar. He, he's not fun to fight against. He kills you at like 10%. It's not fair. Um, but Litten can be found in the jungle um, on the ground. And uh, any conditions, any weather, and everything like that. You know, even even he even takes this rain that just suddenly started happening. But yeah, if you want to get yourself a lit and get the dark fire type Incineroar on your team, which also has a pretty sick shiny, make sure you guys come and search in a jungle. You might even find some of the other ones like Trico or Snivy. All right, for this next one, we're gonna take ourselves back to a coast, just like for Oshawott, and get ourselves on the S S Poplio. Look, we got Captain Poplio here, dancing around, just dancing around. Poplio can spawn on beaches and stony beaches, and, you know, he can even spawn on land or in the water. Now, this one just happened to be on the land, uh, you know, uh, right next to this boat, which is just really cool generation. Uh, it makes me really think that if I made this a pre-marina, she'd be a siren, and the one that crashed this boat, you know? That, I, I, I don't know, that's my headcanon. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a, an evil, you know, siren pre-marina, or is it just a Poplio just chilling, just trying to have his best time? You guys, I promise that this is the last time we're going to be coming to the jungle because the drummer himself, Grookey, can also be found here on the ground and on treetops, an ultra rare Pokemon, just like all the other starters. And yeah, I, I absolutely love Grookey. As a drummer myself, you know, I got my paradiddles on, on point. So is this Grookey. You can, he's jamming to some kind of beat in his head. I don't want to know what, what sick, sick music you're listening to, Grookey. Uh, but yeah, if you want a Grookey, make sure you guys defend yourself in the jungle biome. And I, I, guys, I promise it's the last time that we'll be in the jungle. Uh, so say goodbye to the jungle. Goodbye, jungle. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. I think everybody's going to want a piece of this soccer-playing rabbit over here. Score Bunny spawns in grassland biomes. Now, what that means is it could be in a plains biome, like that biome right there, or a savanna biome. Just regular savanna, not a savanna plateau. Uh, just, just the plains or a savanna. You'll be able to find Score Bunny. Now, if you're lucky enough to get its hidden ability, it will be very powerful. A Libero Score Bunny can go really hard on your team, especially give it moves like Gunk Shot, give it moves like uh, Pyro Ball, uh, give it moves like High Jump Kick, things like that, uh, which it all can learn. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy good Pokemon if you can find it with its hidden ability, but that would be very rare. If anybody's found one, let me know in the comments. And the very last starter that we are looking for as of Cobblemon 1.3 is going to be none other than the sad Pokemon, the shy Pokemon himself, Sobble. Doing just about anything will set this Pokemon off and make it cry, but adding it to your team certainly will not, as this Pokemon would love to be loved. So make sure you guys go to a fresh water, 
Uh, that would be a uh, river or a swamp. They can be submerged or on the land at any time of day. A, uh, a very rare spawn. Uh, if you're lucky enough to find one, that'd be awesome. Hope you catch one. Add one to your team. Get an Inteleon. Uh, a sniper has his hidden abilities. Really good. Really good. And with that being said, you guys, now as of Kabamon 1.3, you guys know how to get every single starter Pokemon. But don't forget, every time you log into a new Kabamon world or Kabamon server, you get the choice of one of these starters that I've shown off in this video. All you gotta do is open the summary page. I believe the default key is M. Click M. If it's not M, go into your controls to figure out what it is. And it'll let you choose your starter from any generation. You can choose whatever one you want. Um, I've chosen my three favorite starters here. Of course, Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. My favorite forms of my favorite three starters. Um, I can't wait to uh, make a playthrough with them. And I uh, see how high levels I can get them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was really helpful. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and a subscription. It helps me out a lot. Let me know how you guys are enjoying Kabamon. And view some of my other Kabamon content if you want to become a master at Kabamon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Have a safe, fun night or day or morning. I don't know what time it is for you. Right now it's night, so I'll have a fun night.